Ion propulsion is used in The Martian to get the Ares 3 crew aboard on the Hermes craft to get to Mars and back relatively quickly. Now what ion propulsion is, is it's a slow and steady gaining of speed that's used when you electronically charge something like argon. And it, at first it starts out sort of like, they describe it as a gentle breeze where you're moving slower, but you gradually speed up more and more, and it'll end you. but it allows you to go really fast, not use a lot of fuel, and you can change orbits really quickly. It's something we're using to get today, and that's why we've gotten to the uh, dwarf planet Ceres and the comet Vesta. So, yeah. You know, the only thing I don't understand about it, and I would like to know more about this if somebody wants to research, is how it changes orbit easily. If it's just a gentle breeze, I know in the movie what they did is they, they had uh, jet propulsion that changed the nose, and then they gave it the thrust, and it, it made the corrections. Well, it, it's sort of like, if you imagine, like, if you put something up here and gravity makes it fall, it goes faster and faster. With, when you have that natural speed and you're not, like, burning energy to do it, it's really easy to change around and move. It'll, it's, we're able to do really crazy maneuvers using uh, propulsion on our rockets now. Okay, so you're saying by speeding it up, they... they Increase the size of the orbit, yes. and and how do they slow it down? Um, they have a reverse thrust on this ion thing. Probably, it didn't really say. Uh, I would assume that it can, if it can gradually increase, it can gradually decrease if you don't keep using it. All right, all right. Let's hear it for him. Yeah. Uh, ion propulsion works by electrically charging a gas such as argon or xenon and pushing out ions at a high speed, which is about 200,000 miles per hour. The spacecraft experiences a force similar to that of a gentle breeze, but by continuously accelerating for several years, celestial vessels can reach phenomenal, phenomenal, I can't say that at speeds. <laughs> <laughs> it allows the spacecraft to change its orbit multiple times then break away and head for another distant world. Um, this technology allows modern day spacecraft, spacecrafts like NASA's, what does that say? Dawn. Dawn spacecraft to minimize fuel consumption and perform some crazy maneuvers. Yeah, that's it. Hey! Am I justice? We are in Mr. Rasmussen's Integrated Science, and we are here to talk about ion propulsion, which was in the motion. Ion propulsion is like a gas. This molecules are electricity charged and are kind of like argon and xenon. Xenon? Yeah. Xenon. The X sounds like a Z. Oh, I don't know. It's these, just the way it works. These particles are thrust out of the spaceship, which makes the spaceship then move. We do use it. It is used in Dawn spacecraft, and the Dawn spacecraft is circling the dwarf planets. So is that it? Yeah. All right. So we're using it right now. Does it does it push the aircraft very hard? Yes. It does. Well, not very hard, but it does get it going fast if you leave it going long enough. It's just like this. That's all the more it is. It's like a, br a little breeze blowing. But, but it, if you let it just go, it just keeps that breeze blowing and you just accelerate and get going faster and faster and faster. And it's called what again? Ion propulsion. Ion propulsion. Let's hear it for him. Ion propulsion is electrically charging a gas and pushing it out at high speeds. 200,000 miles per hour to be exact. But in real life, we've only been able to get up to 25,000 miles per hour. That's more than any spacecraft in the world. That spacecraft is the Dawn spacecraft made by NASA and is, um, and is completed five years of acceleration and it has also visited the dwarf planet series and the asteroid Vesta. All right, let's hear it for them.